our founder, C.F. Martin Sr. Grew up in a small town called Markner Kirchen. Located, if you look at a map of Central Europe and you find Frankfurt and Prague, pretty much right in the middle. Markner Kirchen was populated by instrument builders. Um, they made very fine copies of Italian bowed instruments. My great-great-great-grandfather and his father were involved in the business of making furniture. He was a, an apprenticed uh, cabinet maker. CF took an interest in the guitar. His father encouraged him. He said, why don't you go around town and ask the violin makers if they'll take you on as an apprentice? Their attitude was pretty dismissive. Ah, it's a folk instrument. It's a fad. Don't worry about it. Stick to the furniture. We will make the fine instruments, the bowed instruments. Well, that didn't satisfy him, and his father helped him get a job in Vienna, Austria, where he moved as a young man by himself and began to work for a gentleman known today as the father of the Viennese School of Guitar Design, Johann Stauffer. And in fact, in this display case, we have an original Stauffer workshop guitar and then some later examples of CF's work here in America where he mimicked the Stauffer style. Worked for Mr. Stauffer for several years, ultimately broke away and briefly formed a partnership with a co-worker, Mr. Cool, married Mr. Cool's daughter, had a son, dissolved that partnership, and came home. What we think was happening was that while he was away, the violin makers said, well, hmm, even if it is a fad and a folk instrument, it's becoming quite popular. And so we should probably get into the business of making them. CF comes home, I'm gonna make guitars also, and they said, no, 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 no. You should go back to making furniture. Let us make the guitars because you don't know how to make a musical instrument. He said, well, I actually do. I went to Vienna and I studied under Johann Stauffer. And they said, well, then good, you should go back to Vienna. We don't know whether that animosity is what caused him to want to leave. Certainly, he had to be aware of the opportunities in the new world. Whatever it was, 181 years ago, he got his family up to Bremen, got on a schooner, sailed across the Atlantic, and came to New York City, the land of opportunity. Mrs. Martin was not happy. She did not like New York City. She had some friends who had also left Germany and settled here in the Lehigh Valley. In the mid-1830s, she came out to visit. She found Nazareth, a small community populated primarily by Germans, built into the rolling hillsides of Pennsylvania. She went back to New York, grabbed CF by the ear, and said, we're moving. And so they did. 